As a result of earlier diagnosis, more effective treatments, and longer survival, more patients than ever are receiving long-term treatments for breast cancer. Improved survival is due in part to the use of drugs such as aromatase inhibitors. These drugs prevent the recurrence of estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. However, one of the many side effects is bone loss. My special guest, professor, clinician, and chief of the bone and mineral disorder section of the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, Dr. Teresa Guise, shares her personal story on the benefits of LIV therapy while on aromatase inhibitors. Let's get to the interview. I bring you Dr. Guise. So many women with breast cancer are prescribed aromatase inhibitors. So Dr. Guise, could you comment on the interaction between aromatase inhibitors and the low intensity vibration? Yes, I have um, a lot of experience with aromatase inhibitors, both in the research lab, as well as um, my personal use. They're commonly prescribed and they're the standard of care, the first choice in breast cancer treatment that where the breast cancers have estrogen receptors. Aromatase inhibitors replaced um, another drug called tamoxifen, which was an estrogen receptor antagonist, which we still use, um, but clinical trials show that the aromatase inhibitors are more effective. And these drugs profoundly deplete estrogen. So they um, block an enzyme called aromatase, which converts both androgens that are produced from the ovaries and the um, adrenal glands. Androgens are converted to estrogens by aromatase. So aromatase inhibitors block that. And people who take aromatase inhibitors have um, extremely low estrogen levels, even lower than women who have are, are in menopause. And that has been a very effective treatment for breast cancer. But it's also been subject of um, a lot of musculoskeletal problems in the women who take aromatase inhibitors. The most um, well-recognized effect is bone loss. Most women who take aromatase inhibitors will lose bone. And if they start off low, say in the um, osteopenia range, they will develop osteoporosis if it's not prevented, this bone loss is not prevented. So by blocking estrogen, estrogen inhibits the bone resorbing osteoclast. And by doing so, um, when you deplete estrogen, you get this accelerated bone loss again, and the osteoblast can't keep up. So the remodeling is accelerated with the end result of bone loss. We know this causes fractures, um, and it can also have effects on muscle to cause muscle weakness. Women who take aromatase inhibitors get a lot of generalized um, aches and pains in their muscles, bones, and joints, which are ill-described, but very common and may often result in women stopping the aromatase inhibitors. So we're always looking for good ways to um, help prevent those adverse effects. Um, we use medications like um, denosumab or zoledronate or other bisphosphonates to prevent the bone loss associated with aromatase inhibitors, but it not may not always um, restore bone to normal. So by using the low intensity vibration or mechanical loading of the skeleton, we're adding this non-pharmacologic um, adjunct to the therapy because many of the women, because of the muscle weakness, aches and pains, can't do the amount of um, loading exercise that they might do if they weren't taking these drugs. And again, as I mentioned before, um, the low intensity vibration can prevent the bone loss associated with aromatase inhibitors in our mouse models. It can also improve muscle strength in the mouse models and reduce um, fat. And um, Dr. Pagnotti's published preliminary results of this, and we're 
um, submitting this for final publication to, um, and it was the, ba this is the basis for a clinical trial that we're doing at Indiana University with um, Dr. Tara Ballinger, an oncologist who is testing low intensity vibration on women who take aromatase inhibitors. Um, so we'll know more information about that, but I think it's a very important tool for women um, to, who are taking aromatase inhibitors. There's also some subject, subjective evidence that it may reduce the generalized musculoskeletal pains that these women experience. Um, and I should say that I um, developed breast cancer um, uh, a couple of years ago and have been taking an aromatase inhibitor. I've been treating myself like a little mouse. <laughs> I uh, have a, a low intensity vibration platform, which I use um, twice a day when I can, uh, when I'm not traveling. And I've taken the aromatase inhibitor and I've also taken um, zoledronate. Um, over the past year of that treatment, my bone density increased by 3%. So I was quite yes. pleased um, with that result. Um, and if I had just been taking the aromatase inhibitor alone, I would have likely lost bone. Um, so I think it's a it's a useful tool for our patients. It's not harmful in any way that we know, and I think it can improve the effects of other therapies. You mentioned um, some of the other side effects of the aromatase inhibitors, like the aches and pains. Has have you felt any difference with that for the? including the low intensity vibration into your life? Like when you're traveling, do you feel, I mean, I know you're sleeping in a different bed and everything, but do you, do you feel any different, you know? Yes, I do. Um, I do feel different when I'm traveling. I always ache, my aches are worse um, for, I always blame it on the travel, but I'm not doing my usual routine of my low intensity vibration and um, I do also do yoga um, as well to for more um, mind body integration. But um, I do feel when I'm not using it that I have more aches and pains. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing your story. And I hope you're almost done your five years. You're you are going to be on this treatment protocol for five years. Yes, for five years. So, well, good. Yeah, I'll sticking with that. it. <laughs> yes. So that it's a motivation for women who are ready to not keep taking it. You know. So, um, yeah. Well done. This clip is part of a longer interview on cancer and bone health. Go here to learn how cancer impacts bone and the mechanism behind the positive effects of low intensity vibrations.